Welcome to Edge Studio Design Academy. My name is Dimitar, and in this video, we're going to look at creating a conceptual mass, the context for it, and rendering it in cycles and Blender's new real time rendering engine called Eevee. In the first part of this video, we'll focus on creating the context, which starts out with a simple plane that's subdivided to create a river and then subdivided further on either side of the river to create blocks with some of the vertices being moved. So then give the river a color, create some banks, then select all the blocks and then inset them to create roads and building blocks. And then they can be inset further to create sidewalks given with a different material. So then we can have an easy selection based on the materials. So once we select by material now we can inset further to create interior courtyards and then extrude the buildings up. And again, we want them with a green roof, so I give them a different material. Then the river is just extruded down. Quick context models like this are great to display our project. However, the more detail that we have, the better we are perceiving a sense of scale. So one quick way to add additional detail is to add multiple levels by using a simple plane with the array and solidify modifiers and then Boolean intersecting it with the existing context model. And then the last thing for the context is creating some variation of the building heights with a lattice, which we start by initially creating the lattice, then subdividing it, attaching it to the mesh, and then moving some of the vertices around. So now time to create a massing. I came up with a quick idea to create a fluid massing that hugs the river with tentacles that spread on either side to contrast with the existing context. So to model that, we start with a plane in a very similar way actually to the way that we would model any of the context. So we started with a plane that they would subdivide with edge loops and then some of those edge loops we extrude further to create our bridges or our tentacles rather. And then from a flat surface, some of the edge loops start to get moved down to, to start to give a shape, a three-dimensional shape of our object. From this point on, it continues to be refined by creating more edge loops where they're needed to refine the edges and then adding the subdivision modifier. So the idea is to have this very smooth object that comes from the front and then it wraps around on either side of the river with the tentacles sort of spread through. With these beautiful vistas along the river where the smooth curves along the tentacles to the main shape become highlighted. The preparation for rendering starts from the beginning. While modeling the context, I use materials quite explicitly because it would be much more difficult once all the geometry is built up to go back and select all the faces that we would like to assign separate materials with. In cycles, we're adding just a bit of detail, mostly through using the noise texture, affecting either the fuse channel or the normals, and sometimes the roughness as well. And I usually use two noise textures to affect the roughness in order to avoid tiling effects. So one is a bit more on the micro scale and the other one is a bit smaller. So then we assign a sun, an HDRI. And the last bit of detail is just the water, which again is a mixture of noise textures to give it the effect of water. And here's a quick output from Blender Cycles, which I believe gives excellent results for the time spent developing the project, slightly edited in Affinity Photo. The new version of Blender currently in development has a new rendering engine called Eevee, which is a real-time rendering engine similar to what you get from Unity and Unreal Engine, with an added advantage of it being in the same program that we use for modeling and ray trace rendering. This is a game changer because it allows us to visualize our projects much quicker and get a better sense of the atmosphere and the space that we're creating as designers. Also, Eevee uses the same material system as Blender Cycles, so the materials could be transferred easily from Cycles into Eevee. However, Eevee does not do ray tracing, or not to the level that Cycles does, so the materials can significantly benefit from a bit more definition and texture, including materials that may not be as textured, for example, 
the white smooth finish of the massing at the moment and because it works so quickly it's also rather easy to create an animated water for an animation effect by just creating some keyframes of the scale of the noise texture note within the material for the water and you see the feedback of whatever we change within the material settings directly in the viewport as opposed to having to wait to render it. Here's a quick walk through the model with some additional lights being put around the building to highlight it even more. And the quality I think is fantastic for being live in the viewport. Of course, the better material definitions that you have, the better quality of your rendering is going to look. So thanks for watching this video and I hope to hear from you in the comments, feedback, suggestions or any questions you may have we'll be happy to have a conversation started and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel to get updates when new videos come out